Hi guys. So today it's Saturday. It's the day before Mother's Day, and the resource, the resource center is having a Mother's Day sale, and they're letting you shop for your foster kids and your bio kids for free. So I thought I'd bring you along and show you what it looks like. It's just like kind of like a little consignment store, but everything's free for foster kids, and today it's free for foster moms, bio kids as well, and foster dads. So. Take you along and show you what it looks like. You gonna go get some toys? Y'all might see some of your toys here. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. Actually, I think we brought those too. <laughs> hmm? Been there about an hour and a half digging through clothes and everybody got a bag of toys and a bag of clothes. Now we're going home to wash it and sort it and put it away. So here's some of the stuff we got. I know. We got a whole big old box full of clothes and shoes and toys. This is the resource center. Um, we got a whole huge box of clothes and toys for free. Everything there is free. We donate the clothes they grow out of back to them. The toys they no longer play with, they go back to them because I know that that's a charity that's actually doing what they're supposed to be doing with their donations because I receive donations from them for my foster kids and I know they're doing what they're, they've set out to do and what they say they're going to do. So I really love it. And I think if you do not have a resource center like this in your area, somebody needs to make one in like every county. This has been such a beneficial resource for us as foster parents because these kids usually do have a clothing allowance, but if they have already been with a foster family who has already spent that clothing allowance, um, <clears throat> and then if they move them, Things get left behind, things get lost, and these kids still end up not having everything they need. And sometimes the clothing allowance, it varies from case to case and county to county. And some counties don't even have a clothing allowance, so it comes out of um, what they pay you um, for the kids, which is fine. But the, the more resources us foster parents have, the more we can do for these kids. Like right now, I have all my foster kids in private school. We wouldn't be able to do that without a resource like this. Um, you know, we don't have to buy clothes for five kids. You know, we have to buy clothes for our two, but even today, you know, they allow us to get clothes for our children as well. We try not to take as much because they don't need that much. We just try to take what we need and, um, and then we donate more once they don't wear it anymore or have grown out of it. We donate it back and just replenish the supply for everyone else. Basically, it's a total of 13 churches and then everybody asks their friends and family for donations. And I mean, it's just like a whole little consignment store, but everything in there is free for foster families. And I just think it's incredible, such an incredible ministry. And it really has helped us out so much just in these five months that we have been foster parents. The other thing I thought was so beautiful is it's a way for us to connect with other foster families in our area where otherwise we might not have met them. So just um, meeting other people going through the same things that we're going through in our area. We can organize play dates. And I just think it was be it's just so beautiful to see all the kids in there and they get to go shopping and pick out whatever they want and it's all free so you don't have to say no we can't get that today or you know if you can't afford it so it's really nice to be able to take the kids and they can you know and especially kids who have been through some traumatic things um or kids who have never been shopping or never been able to choose anything for themselves um it's nice to see them being able to make their own choices for the things that they like and they want. And um, it's just really beautiful. And another thing was seeing um, that the diversity in the families, all these mixed families. It's just beautiful. Like our family, we have white kids, Filipino kids, mixed kids. And we would take any race of children. And then like 
we saw a black family and we saw um <clears throat> and they had a little baby and then we saw another family and they had it was a black couple and they had three white children and then we saw another man that fosters and he had like all races of children and i just think it's so incredibly beautiful all these mixed families and even though it, it's awful what these kids are going through i still think it's so beautiful to see people um putting their differences aside and opening up their home to everyone and really i think that's what it's all about it's the love of god god loves us all no matter what color we are and um it's just beautiful to see to see it in person like i just can't even describe it like especially today because most of the time when we go it's just us there but today it was like everybody came and um it was just really cool to see everybody um using that resource and it's just amazing the way god works like i said this is a church ministry it's 13 churches in our areas and anybody and everybody else who wants to donate but it's we'll start about 13 a group of 13 churches so I think it's really beautiful and such a great idea and such a wonderful resource. And um, I think every county should have one because it is awesome. So grateful and thankful for them. So I hope they know that. I've tried to let them know. I hope they know. But I just want to share that with you guys. Um, everything about foster care, most of the time it's sad and ugly. A lot of the things um, can be very negative. But when you see this side of it, it kind of balances it out and makes it um, a little more beautiful and something positive in these kids' lives. So it's really great. Anyway, I just wanted to share it with you guys. And we're going to go um, wash all these toys and wash all these clothes. Most of the stuff's probably been washed, but I like to just rewash it just in case. Because it's been a store. Basically, this place is it's not even like a storefront. It's where they have the fairgrounds, and they have just donated a building like a storage building to them but it's big it's like where they usually have like the art show area <clears throat> at the county fair so they the county actually donated it to them it's from no rent or anything they um, donated it to them to use for this ministry and uh, I just pray that God blesses everyone involved because it's just really a beautiful thing it's wonderful and um, yeah it's all in just like a storage building and people can bring whatever they want We've taken several loads of toys and clothes that we no longer use. If you've seen my decluttering videos, most of that stuff goes to them. So, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to share it with you guys, and I hope it's an encouragement to you. And if you've been wanting to start a ministry, this could be the one. It's really, it's just awesome. So, anyway, I need to clean up my house, and Wes is pumping up the little kiddie pool for them and filling that up, and we're going to let the kids play in the pool today. I'll probably have a vlog up of that later. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I love you, and Jesus loves you too. God bless you all. Bye. Y'all in the pool? Yeah. Yeah. Helicopter. Whoa.